Okay, we should be recording part four episode. This one will be episode two now. So started. We did. We finished off yesterday. We finished ch uh, ch episode one. So we're doing two now. So if this gets ten likes, I do part five tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoy. And let's get into it. Senator, we're making our final approach towards Coruscant. Very good, Lieutenant. <laughs> shouldn't have come back. This vote is very important. Now come. I feel responsible. You did your duty, just as she did hers. Now let's take a transport to the Senate. We're an independent joint taxi service. No apps, no drivers, no... Ah, Senator, we've heard about the explosion on the landing platform. It is a great relief to know that you are okay. Senator Amidala, your tragedy on the landing platform. Terrible. I think that Count Dooku was behind it. Count Dooku was once a Jedi. He couldn't assassinate anyone. Master Jedi, may I suggest that the Senator be placed under the protection of your graces? Perhaps someone you're familiar with. Annie? My goodness, you've grown. So have you. Grown more beautiful, I mean. Well, now that everyone's been reacquainted, allow us to escort you to your quarters, Senator. Thank you, Master Kenobi, but this seems unnecessary. I don't need more security. I need answers. I need to know who's trying to kill me. We're here to protect you, Senator, not to start an investigation. We will find out who's trying to kill you, Padme. I promise you. We will not exceed our mandate, my young Padawan learner. 
I meant it in the interest of protecting her master, of course. Perhaps with merely your presence, the mystery surrounding this threat will be revealed. Is it much farther, Master? Is mine and Padme's company boring you already, my Padawan? No, uh, of course not, Master. I, I didn't mean... We aren't far. My apartment is just up ahead. Ah. Here we are. Shall we? <laughs> Thank you for getting me here safely. Now, if you'll excuse me, I will retire. Stay here. There she is. Don't let her get away. And be precise with your shots. There are civilians everywhere. We'll stop her, Master. I promise. Great. Well, if we could not crash before doing so, I'd greatly appreciate it. Master, you need to relax. I'm a great pilot. You've much to learn about many things, my young apprentice. And flying is certainly one of them. Power coupling. Has your brain turned into sand, Anakin? Stop firing at the civilians! How many times must I tell you to avoid power coupling? Maybe just one more time. that tunnel. We almost have them. the mannequin. Has my flying improved, Master? Well, I'm still alive, so there's that. Who hired 
about you? It was a bounty hunter call. <laughs> Toxic dart. Hmm. Huh? We'll have to split up. Escort Senator Amadala back to Naboo. She'll be safer there. Of course, Master. R4, I think you can help me with something. Cutthroat Best in all of Coruscant! You won't fight better on any other level! An old friend at the diner nearby knows all about this sort of thing. Let's see if he recognizes... Don't blow your top. I'm going fast as I can. <laughs> That's Dex. You uh, caught me at a bad time. My best waitress, Wanda, has blown a fuse, and I can't keep up with all these customers. Think you could help out an old buddy and take some orders to the right tables? I gotta fix up old Wanda. Soon as we get finished, I'm all yours. But what do you say? Great! All you gotta do is find out what each customer ordered and take them the right dish. If a droid can do it, I'm sure a Jedi can. Any news on my 6-6 layer cake? I haven't seen one layer since I got here. That's it. Thanks a lot. Nothing like a tall cup of Jawa juice. Where's that waitress gone? <laughs> my Jawa juice. That where's my shot of club sandwich? My pocket meter runs. Looks delicious. At this point, it would have been quicker to fly to Naboo and cook my own Nuna drumstick. Wow, let me add it. You can't miss it. Ugh, better late than never. Did everyone get their orders? Great! I really owe you one. And so this one took a fair bit of elbow grease, but I'm happy to say she'll be back washing tables in no time. Now, what do you want to talk about? Grab a seat and I'll be right with you. Tell me what this is. What you got here is a Camino saber dart. Camino, I'm not familiar with it. Is it in the Republic? No, no, it's beyond the outer rim. These uh, Camino ones <laughs> keep to themselves. They're cloners. Cloners. No, R4. I don't recall Camino on any of the usual charts. Let's head to the archives. I've never heard of Camino either. Let's run the coordinates Dex gave us through the Jedi archives. See if we can find out more about it. I 
I got Kibby strips. Top shelf Kibby strips. Make your own boys and slide in with these Kibby strips. Thanks for riding with us. Enjoy your visit to the Federal District. Okay, R4. Upload the data Dex gave us to the terminal. According to Dex, Camino should be right here, but there's just empty space. Hmm. Lost a planet. Master Obi-Wan has. How embarrassing. There's nothing there. Gravity's silhouette remains. Huh? Very good. Hmm. Go to the center of gravity's pole and find your planet. You will. But Master Yoda, who could empty information from the archives? That's impossible, isn't it? Only a Jedi could have erased those files. But who and why? Harder to answer. Meditate.
Yes, this should be the right system. Keep your eyes peeled. Master Jedi, I've been expecting you. Welcome. After all these years, I was beginning to think you weren't coming. I'm expected. Of course. Please tell your master that his order will be completed on time. 200,000 units are ready, with a million more on the way. I'm sure he'll be quite proud of the army we've built for him. The army? Yes. A clone army. But you must be anxious to inspect the units for yourself. Now please, this way. When my master first contacted you about the army, did he say who it was for? Of course he did. Master Sifo Dias ordered this army for the Republic. I'm sorry, Master Sifo Dias? But he was killed almost ten years ago. I'm so sorry to hear that. Very impressive. I'd hoped you would be pleased. Clones can think creatively. You will find that they are immensely superior to droids. I'm sure they're not talking about you, R4. These clones, how old are they? Oh yes, we use growth acceleration. Otherwise a mature clone would take a lifetime to grow. I see. They are totally obedient, taking any order without question. We modify their genetic structure to make them less independent than the original host. And who was the original host? A bounty hunter called Django Fett. A bounty hunter? I would very much like to meet this Django Fett. And I would be very happy to arrange it for you. Apart from his pay, which is considerable, Fett demanded only one thing, an unaltered clone for himself. Curious, isn't it? Unaltered? Pure genetic replication. No tampering with the structure to make it more docile, and no growth acceleration. Our conveyor belt equipment distributions. Our conveyor. Is Django's room. Django, welcome back. This is Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi. He's come to check on our progress. Your clones are very impressive. You must be very proud. Huh? <laughs> Who hired you for this job? I was recruited by a man called Tyrannus. Do you like your army? <laughs> I look forward to seeing them in action. Thank you for your time, Django. Always a pleasure to meet a Jedi. I have a strong feeling that this bounty hunter is the assassin we're looking for. <laughs> if our suspicions are correct, he'll be wanting to leave quickly. We best head to the nearest landing pad. Over. 
Get on board. I'll handle this. Mustn't let them get too far ahead. Let's go. Horse reflexes have their advantages, Arthur. Now there's no time to waste. Let's follow him. So guys, we're going to end it right here, thank you for watching, I have to be off now because I'm watching the Fast and Furious X and I'll catch you all later. Cheers. Our schedule is part 5 in a few hours.